my dear students we'll take up user requirements in detail so today's topic is user requirements the user requirements for a system should describe the functional and non functional requirements we are studying on the earlier cases user requirement and system requirement also we are studying functional requirement and non functional requirement so there is some combination that is the user requirements for a system should describe functional and non functional requirements okay we have studied what is functional requirement and what is non functional requirements so user requirements are the requirements of the user from the system and they can be functional as well as non functional users without technical knowledge must understand them so user requirements must be such that anyone who is having not having technical knowledge should be able to understand them we do not say that users have technical background they may come from any background they should specify external behavior of the system as well how the system should behave externally with the other software okay so that should be mentioned in the user requirements user requirements are in simple words common man's requirement or user's requirement okay so here we should avoid system design characteristics so how the system is going to be designed all those such details should be avoided it should be very simple and straight forward we should avoid software jargon okay complex short words technical terms which others would not understand okay because your customer is a is a ordinary man structured notation should also be avoided and system implementation and other details okay user requirements should be written in simple language with simple tables forms and diagrams so these are some guidelines how to write the user requirements so user requirements should be written in simple language ordinary man's language could be english could be marathi could be kannada with a simple tables okay simple table which anyone can understand and forms and the diagram so it should be very simple anyone should be able to understand now when you try to write the user requirements in the natural language what do you understand by natural language it is language used in day to day work it could be english marathi kannada or hindi so there are going to be some problems when you use natural language when you are notifying the user requirements what are those problems that we study now one lack of clarity okay when you use natural language there is no clarity okay so lack of clarity results in no precision okay so no pin pointedness will be there exact requirements cannot be mentioned there will be ambiguity no clarity okay there will be some confusion documentation becomes wordy and difficult when you try to write in simple english the documentation becomes lengthy okay and much of the things becomes not clear so this is the drawback of writing requirements in natural language requirements confusion okay there is some confusion in the requirements that is no distinction between functional and non functional requirements okay so when you are writing in english simple english you may you may mess up okay or mix up the functional requirements and non functional requirements even it will be difficult to identify what are the goals that were set for and working for third third difficulty is requirements amalgamation that is different requirements of different types will be put as single requirement so again it becomes lot of difficult for anyone to understand because you are writing all the requirements in single statement so what are the rules 
that you should adopt when you write user requirements there are certain notations or rules or understanding how you should write user requirements first user requirements must be separated from detail system requirements okay so user requirements should be very simple very precise okay in short they should be abstract they should not be in detail otherwise it leads to confusion so that non technical readers are not confused so the simple man the user who is not technical doesn't get confused so they should be written in simple wordings user requirements must not have too details okay if you give many details in the user requirements then developer will not get freedom to give the system with more efficiency there will be no innovations from developer sides if user requirements are given in detail so this limits developer freedom to give better and innovative solution and most important thing is that they must focus on key facilities needed so user requirements should clearly state what is his basic requirements okay we should not deviate from key requirements what are the simple guidelines to write user requirements okay there are guidelines first invent standard format so you generate one standard format okay this standard format will be a lot of help it is and ensure that requirements definition adhere to the format so your requirement definition should be filled in that proper format so if that format is there you will not miss anything you will give required details next list to no omission and requirements are easy to read so when you have standard format you will not miss anything and even anyone can read it properly because it is in proper format next use language consistently use the words okay language should be very consistently used it should have correct meaning for example shall should be used the word shall should be used for mandatory requirements and word should should be used for desired requirements so there is some difference between mandatory requirements and desired requirements mandatory requirements should be essentially met okay these are part and parcel of the system desirable requirements add to the quality okay so the word shall should be used for mandatory requirements and word should should be used for desirable requirements yes if possible use text highlighting the very important text should be highlighted okay so that it calls attention that is use the bold characters or italic or essentially coloring if you want okay so highlighting of essential requirements should be very clear so that we can pick up key parts of the requirement so important key parts which are got lot of meaning to the system can be easily understood next computer jargon terms must be avoided so always avoid technical terms which common man cannot understand okay so all these things okay so today we have tried to understand what are user requirements okay and how to express the user requirements okay whether we should express in natural language what are the problems or what are the simple guidelines when you are going to write user requirements so all this we have studied today okay so it is very simple you try and understand go through the notes go through the lecture okay write down in your notebook if there is anything you can give me call thank you